everybody. Welcome to my magic crafting table here. Also known as my kitchen table, but now that you're here and we're going to make some cool stuff, we're going to bring the magic to it. So today we're going to be making little paper hoppy toad frogs. So now frogs come in all shapes and all colors and even all kinds of moods. So as we're making this project, I'm going to show you the rough rough idea of how to make it, but I want you to be as creative as you can, use it whatever colors, whatever shapes you want to you want to make. I only have three rules when it comes to crafting. Kindness is required, creativity is inspired, perfection is unnecessary. All right, so let's get to it. Let's make a little frog. For this project, we're going to need construction paper, some scissors, glue, and some markers would be helpful. And don't forget your imagination. All right, so first thing we'll need to do is pick out a color we want for our main body. I use green this time, I use blue on this guy, so we're just going to pick out the color that's going to be this, this main color here. And the first step is that we're going to turn it this way and we're going to hot dog fold it like a hot dog bun. Alright, we're going to fold it exactly in half. Like so. And then we're going to use this fold line. Right here is our guide. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut this right in half. And the next step is you're going to take half your piece of paper and you're going to fold one end just a couple just a couple of fingers wide. This is about three of my fingers wide here. I'm just going to fold this down at the end here. And then we're going to we're going to put another fold at this end. It's just a little shorter than that one, just a little smaller. What we're going to do is we're going to glue these around like this. And we're going to make like this mailbox shape. And that's going to be the main shape of our frog. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here on my tab. Just put a little glue on there. Just a nice little layer of glue. Take this around. And we're going to fold it there. And we're going to tape it. Or glue it. And then we'll end up with this little mailbox type shape. And this will be the body of our frog. The next step, we're going to be adding the eyes to the top, so you can choose whatever color you want your eyes. And we can make the eyes whatever shape you'd like there too. So, I've got my green frog, and I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to do white eyes this time. So i got a little trick here, is if you take your, picture, your piece of paper and you fold it in half, then we can cut one eye out in order to make two. So I'm just going to cut a little kind of oval shape for my eyes this time, I think. There you go. So now I got my little oval shapes, and since I folded it in half, I got two. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold down the bottom of them like this, so that I can glue them right like this on top of my frog. But before I do that, I think I'm going to draw his eyeballs on there, because that'll be easier. So I've got my two eyes. Before I glue them down, I'm just going to grab a marker here. In here. There we go. So then we're gonna, we're gonna glue these on here like that. We have our little frog eyes, Ooh, or we can glue them on like this. They look all wonky. Whoa! Then we'll glue them on like this. So we'll glue those on real quick. Put them right here on the top. Put them right there on the top. Now 
And there you go. Then we got our eyeballs on. Next step is we're going to put a little, little smile on this guy. Or it doesn't have to be a smile. We can put a frown on there. However you're feeling. I'm going to put a smile on this guy. And so I'm going to draw my little smile on here. Keep it in mind it's got to fit on here. So there's my smile. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around on both sides of this. So I'm going to cut around. So I just drew my smile and I just cut the extra paper around there to make his lips, his little froggy lips. And there we go, he's got his smile, so I'm going to glue that on there. And there we go, we got a little smiley frog. Okay, the next step is we're going to make our little froggy hopping legs here. So we're going to we're going to take that other half of the piece of paper that we cut that we made his body out of. We're going to take this other half and I'm going to cut two strips right down it, just about an inch or so wide. It doesn't have to be perfect. One strip, I'm gonna cut two strips. And these are gonna be his long back hoppy legs. Okay, so we got our two strips. Then on one side, I'm just gonna cut these little triangles in here to make his little toes. So I just cut two little triangles in there, make his little toes. This one. <laughs> All right, so we got our two, two like that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold just a little piece down here. We'll fold that up. Do the same over here. These are going to be our little tabs for gluing. And then we're going to fold these up. This could be our foot, so however long you want your foot to be. About right there looks like a good flipper frog size, so I'm going to fold it right there. We'll fold this one up on the end. And then once I got these two folds together, I'm going to put these two folds together like this. I'm going to fold it right here at the top. It's going to be his knee. So we got that little tab here that we're going to glue it with. We got his flipper and we got his knee. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So we got two little frog, two little frog legs. And now we're going to glue these right onto the bottom here. So I'm going to take a little glue, put it right on this flipper part, or right on the, on the leg part. Put a little glue on there. I'm going to glue it right into the center here. Right there. So you can see we got one leg on there, one little hoppy leg. The same thing with this side. Put a little glue on here. Don't need too much glue, just a little bit of glue. That way it will dry nice and quick. There we go. Now we got both of his little hoppy legs on there. Next thing we're going to do is his two front feet. We'll go back to the same green piece of paper we had. I'm just going to cut out kind of the same shape as these guys here. Just going to cut one and two. Flip 
These will be my front flippers, and I'm going to cut those little triangles in there again. Just two little triangles. There you go. And if you accidentally cut a little too far, just use a little bit of glue or tape and you can tape your toe back on. The nice thing about working with paper is you can always just glue it or tape it back on if you make a mistake. Alright, so I'm cutting these two little toes. These will be my front flippers. So I'm just going to fold these at the, at the... Or no, I don't have to fold these. So, so these are my front flippers. And I'm just going to glue these right on the front like so. So let's put a little bit of glue here. Like so. This one glue it right like so. And there you go. We got our little froggy. So the last last step we're doing is we're going to build them a tongue because frogs have these really long tongues. So we're going to take another color here. I'm just going to cut a little strip here. strip here and I'm going to kind of round it off on the end. Just a little round off on the end there. And this is going to be his tongue. And so I'm going, to, I'm going to put some little folds in there. I'm going to make him have a springy tongue. Like it's popping out and trying to catch a fly. So once I get these little folds in there, then I'm just going to glue this onto his mouth right here. Right below his mouth line there. So it looks like it's coming out. I'll put a little glue. on there. There you go, you did it. Congratulations, you made your little frog. Thanks for crafting along with me today. I love making things and I love sharing them with people, so thanks for stopping by. And uh, be sure to check out our next video. It'll be coming soon. We'll be making these little owls. So we'll see you soon. Bye.